get yourself an automatic timer. Now I use one that is controlled by my phone. I can also just set it. It's as easy as pressing the button. The lights going on and off in this 800 gallon aquarium right behind me. It's the Casa Wi-Fi timer. We've used timers for years and years and years, whether it's Christmas lights or maybe your aquarium, right? This only saves a little bit of time each day, but really where the time saving comes in is it's the same amount of light every day. So you're gonna grow less algae, your fish are gonna be used to it. When the light comes on, they know the routine. You're gonna get less injuries from them being less spooked because it's expected. All of these things are gonna save time. And it's one of those things that like, yeah, it takes 20 minutes to install once, and then for years and years and years and years and years, you'll get the added benefit of it. Whether you're on vacation or not, light comes on, it's like clockwork. So a long savings for a very minimal investment. When it comes to doing water changes, use a pump to pump the water out. If it's not time to actually gravel vac, normally I gravel vac like once every four to six weeks, and I'm just changing water as needed by testing, right? Pump the water, it'll move so much faster, or get yourself a bigger diameter hose. Something like the 800 gallon or the 360 gallon at the store. We use a hose that is like one inch inner diameter and it will fill a trash can in about four minutes. Now, in a 55 gallon aquarium, that would drain that whole thing. But in something like this, we gotta do that three, four times, right? Change a few hundred gallons. That'll save you so much time. Uh, what I really like about the pump is I get to drop it in the aquarium and I can be scraping algae and stuff and it will suck it straight into that pump and be working while I work. And if I get ahead of it, let's say I finish cleaning that aquarium, I can move to my next one, let that continue to pump, and then vice versa, I can pump the water back. Now a lot of people use a python where they hook it to their sink and they gotta uh, you know, get the siphon going, but a lot of times that siphon is a lot slower. And then when you pump it back, sure, that may be faster, but just know you've got gravity working against you and so using a pump a lot of times will speed it up. I definitely, honed this when I was running my maintenance company and you'd have different faucets, different water pressures, all these things and what was reliable, my own pump connected to a little extension cord, pump that water into a garden and get that second use out of it. When setting up a tank, a lot of times you gotta wash a lot of substrate because it's pretty dirty. To save a bunch of time, get yourself like one of those kind of green coarse nets, get a scoop and just scoop a couple of scoopfuls of gravel in there, rinse it under the sink, let all that kind of run through then dump that into the bucket. Keep doing that. That's way faster than putting all the substrate into a bucket and then putting a hose in, letting it run. Because it's not getting mixed or anything like that, you get a lot of pockets that don't get clean. You dump that into the aquarium, you fill it back up and it's all cloudy again. So you can really save a lot of time, especially with like crushed coral, if you're adding crushed coral to a filter or something like that. We sell it by the pound. You put a pound in the net, rinse, 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 takes 20, 30 seconds. Now it's ready to go into your filter or in your gravel. And yeah, there's still always gonna be a little bit of particulate left, but that the filter will clean out over the next, you know, 24 hours or so. But you won't get that big bloom of, oh no, I poured in the substrate with water in there and now it's, you know, mud. Use a net. Embrace algae eaters, snails, and shrimp. All of these guys will save you time. Less algae scrubbing, less stuff building up in the filter because they're digesting it multiple times, they're getting in the nooks and crannies. They're basically little hired servants in your aquarium that are gonna clean all the time, 24 hours a day for you, which means you just gotta really take out the trash. If you, you know, imagine it like you got 20 different little Roombas going around, cleaning all different types. You can see a bunch are in my aquariums. They're cleaning all this stuff, and all you gotta do is once they get back to base, you gotta take the trash out, and that's cleaning your, uh, your filter and maybe doing a little bit of gravel vac here and there. Buy them once, sometimes you can even breed them, populate all your aquariums, but they do save quite a bit of time and a lot of energy, plus I just enjoy them anyway, and so some people hate snails, and I don't understand that because Man, do they help in your aquarium. It's, it's really been beneficial, and I, I get that for breeders, maybe not, but for just loving to watch your aquarium, they're fascinating and they're always cleaning. It's a win-win. Do less water changes, that'll save you time. Now, how do I do less water changes? Stock less fish. If you've fallen out in love, you're like, yeah, I bought that, I loved it for three years, and now maybe that blood parrot, the baller shark, the epistogram, or whatever it is, you're like, I lost the mate to it, meh. Nah. It's all stuff you're feeding, and if you don't care about it, take it back to the pet store, get someone who will love it, downsize, as much as you can so that you spend more time enjoying and less time working. So many people think more filtration will make things easier. It will definitely give you more leeway, 
but people end up dreading it more. So like on this tank, I have two giant canister filters. When it's time to clean those, that's about an hour to an hour and a half of my life because I don't wanna do it every day, right? So instead of using smaller filters and cleaning them every few weeks, takes me five minutes, we save all that up to every six, to, six months to a year, I now have an hour to an hour and a half of work that takes a lot, and so I dread it. A lot of people find that, oh, if I use smaller filtration that's easier to service and take care of on a more frequent basis, it's not so bad. It's kind of like doing your dishes every night or every couple of days instead of going, well, let's use up every dish in the, in the cabinets and then we'll run the dishwasher when we've dirtied everything in there. Now, it's an hour long slog to clean all the dishes instead of, oh yeah, we spend 10 minutes once a day and we have our choice, it's always looking good, all of those things. So consider downsizing the amount of fish, the amount of water change you're doing, and just the amount of maintenance you do overall to save you quite a bit of time. When you're in that zone, it'll really help that, oh, now I need to go on vacation, now I've got the holidays, or now I'm extra busy at school, whatever it is, you're already tuned for that instead of you know, being in the trap that so many people get in where they're doing 50% water changes every weekend, like clockwork, and then for some reason they get sick or something happens they can't, and therefore their tank suffers for it. But if you liked all those, check out this video right here with more tips on how you can level up your aquariums.